Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. But today, I want to actually help Carolyn's RV life learn how to ride a motorcycle because she says she wants to do that, and I'm here to help. And I always wanted to learn how to drive a motorcycle. I do not know how to drive a motorcycle. Anybody out there with a motorcycle want to teach me how to drive a motorcycle? Just like Carolyn's RV life always copies me. And how do I know this? Because I get the emails from YouTube about her complaints about my channel. For example, I went to the Yukon and Alaska in my RV. She had to do it right after. I went and did some RVing in New Zealand. She had to do it right after. Yeah, you, you get the idea. It's okay, it's flattery. I love it, Carolyn. You flatter me, I love it very much. But today, let's get to the important thing. Since I've owned quite a few bikes over my life, you could say that I'm somewhat of an expert, I guess, because I've owned a lot of bikes and actually have ridden quite safely. But they're very, very dangerous. So the first thing that I'd like to recommend to Carolyn's RV Life and her friend Lisa is that you need to put a lot of money aside for healthcare issues. Because I'm in Canada, so I paid a lot of taxes for healthcare. So if I get injured, I'm good. But Carolyn, maybe not so much. An injury on a motorcycle is very expensive in the United States if you do not have really comprehensive health care. Just say it. Just want to warn you, Carolyn, because I don't want anything bad to happen to you because these things are dangerous. So first of all, you're going to have to think about what kind of bike you want to get. Now, first, I got to put a disclaimer. Anything I say in this video, don't take it literally. YouTube isn't real. I'm really actually not an expert. Okay, I could say I'm an expert, but I'm really not. So anything I say related to motorcycles and motorcycle safety, do not take it as gospel. Think for yourself, because what I say a lot of times in these videos, they're just silliness, okay? Disclaimer aside, actually take a motorcycle training safety course. Probably your best way to start. But I wanna get Carolyn going a little quicker. So first, we need to talk about what kind of bike the friendlies are gonna buy for her. Since Carolyn deserves the best, and she probably wants a really nice bike, a fast bike, I really recommend moving up to the leader bikes, the fast bikes. Don't do what anybody else says and start with something small and modest. No, 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 that's, that's for wimps and sissies and liberals, maybe. Carolyn deserves something good. So I'm probably suggesting maybe an H2, you know, Kawasaki. Quite fast, quite exquisite. Highly suggest it. Maybe a Hayabusa. I'd love to see Carolyn on a Busa. That would just tickle me pink. But not that kind of pink, if you know what I'm saying. How about something really classy and Italian? A high displacement Italian Ducati. Oh, love to see Carolyn have one of those babies. Man, I'd even hang out with her and go riding for a day. She picked up one of those Ducatis. It would just be fabulous. So Carolyn, don't let your friendlies talk you into buying you something cheap. Move up to the top. First of all, let's talk about safety. You know, helmets, they're for people like me because I don't like head injuries. I want my head to kind of work properly, but I'm not against people who actually don't want to wear a helmet. Carolyn, you need to move to a state that doesn't have a helmet law. That's my first tip because everybody wants to see that free flowing hair flying around behind you while you're cruising on your bike. That would just be a beauty to behold. Some people say that safety gear is important. I say, nah, you don't need that, Carolyn. That's just silly. Besides, a little bit of frostbite on your fingers doing those winter rides, it builds character. And you can impress the friendlies if you get some scars and you wipe out and you scrape your knuckles a bit. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, Carolyn, well, let's uh, show you how to operate a motorcycle. You know, you got a bunch of levers. You actually don't really need to pay attention to them much because they just kind of get in the way. The most important thing you need to know, Carolyn, especially when you get that Ducati from your friendlies, is this. This is called the throttle. And what you always want to do is you want max throttle all the time. And to go fast, you just pull it back and hold it. That's all you need to do. 
max throttle all the time, that will actually get you the total maximum viewership that you deserve on your YouTube channel. Now over on this side, this is called the clutch. Yeah, what you want to do is when you're switching through the gears, you, you, you pull it down and that actually disengages the clutch and then you let it out. But what you always want to do is you want to pop that thing all the time while you're doing max throttle. That'll get you exactly what you want. It's called fun. Carolyn, do you like fun? I think you like fun. Now over here, this handle, it's actually your front brake. But, you know, forget that. That actually does most of your braking, but you, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be a sissy. What you want to do is you want to use this pedal here. That's the rear brake. You just apply that at maximum speed. Full braking, you get that beautiful power skid. That's what it's all about. It's all about the views on YouTube. And power skidding with rear braking, that's how you get that. Now, motorcycle maintenance is really important, and making sure that your chain is correctly tightened is very important. You want to have only a little bit of play. That's about the maximum amount of play you'd want. But maybe if you're into fun and adventure, make sure that that chain is really loose so you can get what's called chain slap. A little bit of chain slap never hurt anybody. Not at all. It's all part of the fun. Now, some people like to buy aftermarket exhaust like I got here. Now nah, you don't want to do that. You just take that whole thing off. Makes your bike louder so you sound cooler. Now, I'm actually really an advocate of women learning how to ride motorcycles. In fact, I have another motorcycle in Vancouver, and it's in the care and custody of an actual female rider who's using it. So if you see a chick driving a black ninja in Vancouver, you just roll that window down at stoplight and say, line screw one says keep your wheels on the ground. Because that's what it's all about, keeping your wheels on the ground. Except when you're wheelieing. And that's what Carolyn needs to learn. Wheelieing is all about the max throttle, dropping that clutch. I've already given you a couple tips there, Carolyn, because I know you're ready to do it. Now, one of the inadvertent things that does happen occasionally with motorcycles is you can actually take a spill. But consider a motorcycle spill an opportunity of crisis where you can actually do some fundraising on your channel. I've seen it many times. Carolyn, I know you can do just the same as anybody else that's ever done that in the past. Now, we all enjoy a cocktail now and again, especially me. I'm Canadian. We like to drink a lot. Carolyn, I recommend do not do any drinking until after you ride unless you want to have a lot of fun and get in trouble with the popo but i'm not here to judge perhaps sober riding is just for sissies like me don't know now carolyn if you were to apologize for what you did on the highway of tears and exploiting all those uh, dead and missing women I would consider buying you a motorcycle for you to ride. I'd consider that because in the past, you guys know you go back to my videos, I've offered her a free trip to Vancouver and she was going to stay at the Trump Towers. It was going to be a beautiful trip. She declined that. I also offered her a Peloton. Yep, those are expensive exercise machines. She didn't want that either. Maybe, Carolyn, if you consider apologizing to me in a video mentioning me by name, and apologizing for all the things you did those several years back, perhaps I could consider giving you a motorcycle, maybe buying you one. Maybe you might want my bike here. Of course, it's not as expensive as an H2, and perhaps the friendlies want to buy you a Kawasaki H2, because I think you probably deserve it, and I think you're ready for that. So, Carolyn, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're shopping for a bike, because, you know, the sun's shining, it's spring. This is the time to actually consider buying a motorcycle. I can even show you how to get one of those front hitches installed on your motorhome, just like I got, so you can travel around with your motorcycle. I think it'd be fantastic. Maybe we can go riding together as soon as you open the border. That'd just be great. And we do have some breaking news on Carolyn's RV life. She's giving away some free used tires off of her RV. They're actually the same size as my RV tires. Maybe I should ask her for them. You just gotta email her and meet her in Salt Lake City and she's gonna hook you up. This is actually the biggest giveaway she's ever done since the uh, used socks. I mean the socks from the hike or whatever, the free ones that she got given to her that she was giving away. So congratulations, Carolyn, to finally giving away something a little useful. You know, not like these new laptops that I've been giving away. That, that's stupid that I do that out of my own wallet. But yeah, congratulations. It's the biggest giveaway that she's done. So go over to her channel and uh, put your name in for the draw or request it. And she don't want you selling them though. You can't be flipping those used tires. So don't really know what used tires are worth like that. But uh, hey, it's worth something to somebody, I guess. So you go over there and uh, get those free tires while you can. 
Now, I don't know if you gotta be a friendly. You might have to be a friendly, don't know. You might have to, you know, find that out for yourself. But hey, congratulations, Carolyn. So what do you guys think about Carolyn's RV life and her desire to ride a bike now, now that I'm back into it again? You put your comments down below and maybe suggest a good ride for Carolyn. And I don't know what the budget is from the friendlies. It's probably a pretty good budget because the friendlies are really generous. She just did that live stream uh, the other day, generated a lot of money. Hey, and Vlogger Puppets actually did a fantastic job of parodying it live on his channel using the puppet. You know, Hong Kong, hello friendlies. <laughs> and I want to give a salute to a few of the people on the Vlogger Puppets that managed to squeak in the odd comet or two that I managed to get a snip of as they did it. I guess the friendly moderators weren't so sharp after all. And I did predict a $350 session from the friendlies. So I think she came pretty darn close to that. So congratulations. 350 bucks could be your first month's payment on a new Kawasaki H2. So you're well on your way to getting that beautiful brand new bike. In the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground, and I'll talk to you soon. Over and out. As I was editing that video, I was really surprised to see how calm I was. I got you, I got you